Oh, hit class, settle down, settle down. There's a new class coming in today. What? But I thought you said that last week. You said he was he got ill, so he transferred to new school. So who's the new kid? I'm so like, first of all, I never said that. And second of all, the new kid, that was the new kid, um, um, uh, Joshy Washy. Joshy Washy. Are you just joking me right now? Ugh, never mind. Ryan, you can come in. Ugh, this place already stinks here. This place already feels bad. I want to go to my home. Yikes, Ryan sounds like a swell guy. Ugh, Adam, there's no need to be rude. In fact, I want all of and your friends to show Ryan around and play him for the whole week. <laughs> uh, what have I done? When you wake up in the morning with a place you'd rather be Each day is good for you and me The problems we have to face we do it together And that's how we enjoy our life our life All men together We work together, we do it for where nothing can be in this town Because we are All men together we work together, we do it for well, nothing can be in this town, because we are... Get out my room, now! Come on, Adam, can't a simple boy go to his brother's room just to look for something really important? Look at my face. Does it look like I care? No! No, I do not care! Just get out my room! Look. Fine, but don't come back to me saying, I want to go to your room, I want to go to your room, because it's something I'm important, I really got to tell you, because I'm not going to let that happen. Fine, because I won't be going to your room anyways. Babe, there's something really important and I need you to help me. I've got to tell you something. Ugh, Adam, what did I just say? I said not to go into my room if you want to tell me something because you got me out of your room. Ugh, there's no time. I don't want to listen. So anyway, there's this new kid Ryan at school and... Didn't even say you can. And I may or not be sarcastic, but anyway, I kind of was being sarcastic. And now, Miss Hamlin wants me to give a score towards Ryan and all our friends. And... Do you know what? I could... Just care less about your... And I've got something to, important to remember, so I can't do the tour. So can you please do it for me? I'm sorry, what? You want me to do it? And you just kick me out your room? Faber, this is not all about room favouritism at this point. At this point, I just need you to help your older brother out. Really? Why should I do it? You've never done one nice thing to me before. Well, yesterday I... Um, so the other day I did. Okay, fine. But this is really important for me, Fabian. Please. Fine. Only on two conditions. Never get to my room and never ask me to do anything for you again. <gasps> OMG. No, no, please, please, please. Only if you want me to do it all with Ryan. Fine. I'll do it. Jamie, there's something important I need you to do. Whatever you say, the answer is no. I know Fabian texted you about giving a tour to Ryan, and you didn't want it, and you wanted me to do it. Well, the answer is no. I was not going to say that. I was actually going to say, can you do it for me, please? Okay, I wouldn't even make sense of the sentence anyway. Um, so, um... I will do it, Spence. I will do it. I will spend. I mean, so I say spend. I mean, I will do it for the. Uh, I mean, the, uh, I meant. You're gonna let Spence do it, aren't you? Yep. You know me so well. And so I'm so glad you got my message. Me too. But we haven't got any time to waste. Why am I here again? And why did you tell me to wear super cool sunglasses and a black and white T-shirt? Listen, Spencer. I am the detective, you are not. The real reason I'm here is because me and Fabian are switching lights all day. He said what I asked him to do, and I'm doing what he told me to do. So, what we're really here for is that Fabian's done a project, but someone stole it, and we're figuring out who.
A project? Oh, um, I don't know anything about project. My family didn't tell us. <sighs> How many times do I have to say this? It's not from the Sam Flynn. Favon just made it himself to surprise Miss Hammond that he's been doing something that we've learnt from home. Now, if you'd please just listen to me, I'd like to explain. Oh, okay. So what did the project really look like? Don't you ever watch detective movies? That's why we're figuring out what it looks like, Spencer. Before you say something, I know you're going to say, Where do we need to take the birth and find out the situation? Well, here we are, Spencer, and I'm going to explain. Well, I was going to say for taking the bus 98, then we're just going to have to wait for 15 minutes. Hmm, but what do you need to get? Ugh, do you really need to know everything? Ugh, do you really have to know everything? No, I just really wanted to know. Just stay here, won't you? Okay, where was it? Where was it? Where could it be? <gasps> oh no, oh OMG, someone's at the door! Uh, 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 who am I supposed to be expecting at the door? And why do I need to be at the door? Uh. Ugh, I'm not answering the door. <sighs> I need to let him in, but I can't let him in. Do you know what? Let's see who it is. Um, hello, I guess. I'm Miss Henry. I'm surprised you don't know me, Fabian. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 I am, Fabian. Good. Take off that glasses. It's really inappropriate. I'm going to pass that anyway. Let's go wherever Fabian's going. But aren't you? No, 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 no. I didn't mean like that. I meant third person. Like, let's see what Fabian's going. Like, in third person. Like, like, what, the, where am I going? <laughs> Just take us there. Take a Fabian there. I mean, me there. This is my favourite place of the school, and surely it might be your favourite place too. Dude, like, just take me out of school. That's why I was asking. Hello, do you want the school tour or not? Quite frankly, I don't. Well, anyway, we're continuing this tour. It's almost lunchtime anyway. And this, and this only, is the staff room. I think we're finished the tour. I think we've got everything here. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, now where is the lunch hall? Um, you can find it yourself. We literally had to tour three times at the school. I'm not doing it again. Please, for me? Puppy eyes don't work on me, Ryan. You're not five or four years old. You're probably nine or ten. Now! I know, I know, I'm going to the lunch hall. Miss Henry, what is this place? The place we always do our work, Fabian. Remember? What's going on with the head? Well, Miss Henry, I've got a confession to make. The truth is, I'm not... Ready! Um, ready for what? Hmm, you're forgetting things an awful little bit too much. You okay? Um, yes, but I was just... Oh, look, the other campers are here. Wait, what? We have other campers? Come on, say hi to your friends. How did teaching Ryan go? I have two words for you. He's annoying. Huh, I thought annoying was two words. Wait, with the what? After that, maybe new people are just annoying and all that stuff. Why wouldn't they be? They're probably just jealous of the, you know, main plot people. That's actually very, very true. Aha! I got an idea how Ryan will like us. And it's going to be a great idea. And it involves you. Ugh, great. This is a beautiful day. Oh, I know. Um, who are you? My name is Hannah. I go to the same school as you. I'm in the same class as you. 
Sorry, girl, I do not spend a lot of time paying attention to the background characters. Okay, well, sometimes you've got to look around a little bit more. Aha! Hannah, or Wanna, or whatever your name is, you just gave me a beautiful idea. So how can Ryan leave the school and we don't have to do a chore for him? This better be good. I can't have my colossal waste of time on you. Okay, so first of all, you are going to go scare Ryan. And because since you're a background character, you're going to do something that you'd never do before to Ryan. Hey, that sounds mean. And luckily, mean is my middle name. And I'm not even joking. It's Hannah, mean, carpet floor. Carpet floor. Dude, you've probably got a weird name. Your name is Lester. Okay, I see the point now. So, what's your name again? Fabian, we're best friends. How can't you know my name? We've been playing for five years. He has? Man, how long has he been joining this club? Wait a minute, you're not Fabian. <gasps> you're Adam, pretending to be Fabian. Wait, what did you do to him, you evil twin? Okay, first of all, I'm not evil. And second of all, it was a mistake. This god mistake me for Fabian when I was trying to find his project. Someone just stole it and he got really angry and he sent me to do it because we switched lights all day. Yeah, okay. Oh, when I get my hands on you, I don't care if Fabian will get told of. Just get out, you, you evil twin! How many times do I have to say, I'm not an evil twin, I'm not an evil twin, it was just a mistake, and if you just listen to me, then things would be okay between us. Okay, is everything put in place? Yep, everything's put in place, and there's nothing to be worried about. Good, Cody, let's come out of here, Ryan's coming. Why can't I see the drama? I always have to leave. Fine, you can stay. Just try not to get ooh, drama, fight, 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 and all that stuff. I can't make any promises that I won't do that. Great, you're here. Yes, I am here, and I'm bigger than ever. I just need to get silly water, and I can have my silly lunch and leave this silly school. Not everything in this school is silly, you know. Does it look like I care? No, I don't care. I just want to go to my home. But all you have is a black heart and you just got rid of your nice heart. And all you do is just be me, 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 me. You're never grateful for anything. I could have not done this tour if Adam was not here. And if you were paying attention what I was trying to do, then maybe these days would have been a little bit more simple of myself. But anyway, and now you I just had to show up to the school and ruin my whole career of being nice. That's not a good friend. And do you know what I need from you right now? Is to get off my chest. Ugh. Like you've had words in every single school. This is the only school that's probably caretake for me. All the other schools, I had to have a tour myself. I had to be by myself. I had no friends. And I, I hate you for the rest of my life. And do you know what? I'm going to tell Miss Hamlet that you were planning to set a prank on me. And do you know what? I'm going to leave the school and try to get you expelled. Well, I guess I could say that went well. <sighs> okay, Miss Henry, you've really got to listen to me. Calm down, Fabian. The project show's not even going to start anyways. Yeah, but it's about the project show and about me too. You've really got to listen to me. I would have been to you, but what did I say about taking off to, to take off those glasses? These are really inappropriate attire! Miss Henry, you're pissing me off! I've really got to tell you something! And second rule, don't you yell at me for no reason, for something I didn't even do now! Miss Henry, I've had all of you interrupting me all this time. I could have said what I did so I could get my out of the situation that I didn't even want to be in so I can at least do something. And all 
do you choose? Let's just keep interrupting me for no reason. Like you think the whole world revolves around you. Well, guess what? It doesn't revolve around you. And I want to say something really important. So before you interrupt me and say, Hey, your son got that in the pit of attire. I want to say that I'm not Fabian. I'm Adam. You're mistaking me the whole time. If you just use a little bit of your ears and use the common sense and use all the glasses and the different faces, then you would have known, you blindy. Uh, Adam, you've made the wrong mistake of your life. If you shout at Miss Henry, then something big's going to happen and you will... <laughs> Quiet, Philip. Okay, I want to finish my speech. First of all, Miss Henry, you are a colossus. A waste of time. Nobody even likes this nerd camp or whatever you call it. Adam, I'm warning you. If you upset her, then she's gonna break out. She's gonna become. <laughs> okay, this is what. What will she become? She looks like a total nerd who wants to raise money for I don't know for the birds that sing or or for the flowers that chirp. I don't even care what flowers do at this point. At this point, I am. I am no girl longer, Miss Henry. I am Miss Gonna Take You Down. Uh, oh no, what have I done? Girl. What am I gonna do? Ryan's gonna tell on me, and Miss Henry would never trust me with anything ever again. Calm down, Fabian. I had the perfect idea. I met this random girl, Hannah, who apparently is in our class. Has Hannah me carpet floor? Carpet floor, not carpa floor. Carpa floor? Oh, carpet floor. Agree to disagree. Jamie, we're getting off topic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I met Hannah. Basically, I told her a plan. Hannah's the only person who can help us. Why her? You only just met her today. You don't know anything about her. In fact, I only met her two days ago. I don't even know what she's like. She's not even probably willing to help us because we get all the spotlight and she doesn't apparently. And her makeup routine, ugh, it needs to be improved. I know, right? I didn't want to blast out at her. Oh yeah, we're getting off topic again. Yes, I did tell her another plan. She's gonna do it tomorrow. Tomorrow is all we need, and tomorrow is the last day. Why is tomorrow the last day? Oh, today is that because tomorrow is Friday. You know that, right? What? Time flies really quick, even when there's a problem happening. Dear Spencer, these are the days I wish you had your phone so I can stop using these paper car thingies and sing it to you. These are like so old. Anyway, we have a huge problem. I know you've been waiting for the bus up for three or four days. I don't know because I've had a huge problem all day. Wait, maybe for a whole two days. Anyway, there's a monster at Forest Glade. I need you to come right away. And you, Melman, you better not look. This is private for me and Spencer, okay? And there's a lot of things that we've got to do. In fact, you better not read this recording because I know when you'll do that. I really don't know when you'll do that, but still... Listen up, Hannah. You are our, our only hope. If you fail, then I'm not totally going to get failed and expel like Ryan said he would. So please, Hannah, please, would you just remember the plan? Um, I'll try, but what plan are we talking about? The plan Jamie told you on Wednesday at the park? Come on, it's been two days. How could you forget that quickly? Short memory spam, I guess. Um, he said something about blah, 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 blah. Okay, I remember. Please, and please, and please, and please, and please, do not ruin this mission. Why do you think that I'm going to ruin this mission? In fact, it's not even a mission. It's just a matter of life or death. In fact, it's not a matter of life or death. It's a matter of... Just go, Hannah. You're wasting our time. It's almost the end of the school day. <gasps> How dare you disrespect me like that? How dare you disrespect me like that? Listen, I'm really... I mean, I'm really... I'm really... I'm really tired, but I haven't got... Time for a problem. I want coffee. Wait, did I just say that? Do you need what naughty children do at this campsite? 
No, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be super bad, so... They get eaten, like I'm about to do to you. Oh, where's Spencer when you need him? Where's Spencer when you need him? Why well, hasn't got the letter yet? If we hide it from it, oh, bing, it'll be there right away. Listen up, miss. I'm going to take you down. You might take Adam down, but you're not going to take down, down the whole campsite. You built this, and you're going to have to restart it. Do you really want that? No, <laughs> but that's Mrs. Henry's problem, not Miss. I'm going to take you down problem. Now, now, I'm going to just transfer it so you never have to see me again. If only I listened. If only I did not scream at her. This is all my fault. But then again, she should have learned the difference anyways. It's her fault anyway for getting angry, not mine. And what does she mean by that? She's going to transformate into something. Dude, I don't even think transformate is a word. And I don't need to know because I'm not a nerd. Hey, where did you go? Well, I transformed into a ghost. Now you can't see me. And I'm unbeatable. Okay, I know this is not my camp, but this is me. It's my brother's camp and his friends. And I should have never let that down. I should have never let that hurt you angry. I'm really sorry. Well, then again, it's not my problem if this silly camp gets shut down. Right? No. No, it's not. Fine. You think everything's all about you. I'll find you and I'll get the real Miss Henry back. Not this Miss. I'm going to take you down. She's the worst. What did you just say to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me make this clear for you. I said, Miss, I'm going to take you down. It's the worst. I want Miss Henry back. Too bad, because we're never going to get her back. You're stuck with me forever. Oh, you'll see. You'll all see. Goodbye, Miss. I'm going to take you down. This is the end for you. Forever! Boom! It can't be! No! No! I'm dissolving! No! Hey, where's Adam? I thought he was going to be here by now. Adam? Adam? Adam! Oh well, it's not like he was going to come back for me anyways. Oh, man, together.